I like to assume that most people already know how to take something out of a box. I never did quite understand that trend. Now before we get started setting this thing up, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the specs. The Deco M5 specs are decent, but they're not overwhelming. Remember, the goal here is to expand our range, not to get blazing speed. What it amounts to is an AC 1300 megabits per second system with 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band. Each node has four antennas. It supports MooMimo and beamforming. Like I said earlier, they support router mode and access point mode. It's got a very nice Qualcomm quad-core processor, and each node has two Ethernet ports. Now, you can get antivirus and parental controls, but those are part of a subscription service. The TP-Link ID comes with the cloud service. And you've got uh, some of the usual suspects such as DDNS, UPnP for gaming, and TP-Link has its own DDNS service. Okay, so now that we have all that out of the way, let's get started setting this up. Okay, so first we want to go on to the Deco website, log in, and then it says paint your home in Wi-Fi. Let's begin. So then it gives us all the different devices we can choose. And we want the M5. Gives you some information as to what, what we need. I already said that we have all this stuff. We've got the Ethernet cable, the power adapter, and let's not forget the, the Deco. That might come in handy. Okay, so now it says to power off the modem. Okay, so what it wants to do is it wants to sync up with the modem while the modem syncs up to the ISP. Now you got this little option down here saying I don't have a modem. So I'm going to assume that most people such as myself are using a modem. Alright, so let's get in here and unplug the modem. Turn it off. Unplug it. And then tap next. So now it's saying it wants the power plugged into the wall. It wants the cable plugged into the modem. And the other power cable going into the modem. So now it wants me to plug it back in. Now this is kind of tricky because I can't really see what I'm doing. But let's get it in there and hopefully it'll start blinking and eventually it will turn on. Unfortunately with my service this may be a while. Okay so I ran to 7-Eleven and picked up some milk. Come back and look at this. It's ready to go. The wonders of modern technology. Okay, so we're finally ready to go. We've got an internet connection, and basically what has just happened is the Deco in router mode has just introduced itself to our ISP, saying, hey, ISP, I am the new modem in town. The last guy is gone, and I'll be taking his place from here on in. Okay, so now let's get back to the app, see what it wants us to do. It says next. Okay, we already did that. All right, now it's saying that the LED should pulse blue and it is so let's say it's pulsing blue it's going to do its little dance for the deco from my phone and voila it's connected amazing okay so now it wants us to name this one so this is the one that's in the bedroom so I guess that means we'll be calling this one the bedroom. So now it's asking me this complicated question. I already know the answer and this is the same answer for most people. Most people have a dynamic connection. This VLAN stuff, this is for uh, businesses. So we're going to say dynamic IP. We're going to say next. So let's give it a network name. And I'm going to call it Wi Fi Guy 5. Password Wi Fi Guy. Hmm, let's think. Let me think about this for a minute. Okay, 5. Now that's not secure, but I'm doing this anyway because I don't want to spend, I know you don't want to spend all day watching me figuring out a complex password. Let's go next.
connects. So now the phone wants to connect to it. So let, let's let it connect. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go like this and forget. And because I already had the wrong password memorized on the phone. So we're going to start this again and then type in the new password. Connected. And as we can see, we got the nice little green light. And what is the Deco app saying about this whole thing? Connecting to Wi Fi Guy. All right. Okay, so now it's asking us do we want to add another Deco? Well, let's think about it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now, as you can see, it's got the blue light blinking and it's ready to be configured. So let's break out the phone app, get onto the Deco website and say, add another Deco. Well, let's see. Hmm. What was that last one? Oh yeah, M5. Okay, so we're gonna call, okay, so now it's asking us, you know, where are we putting this thing? Are we putting this on the first floor, the second floor? What are we doing here? And it's basically asking for the configuration of our home so that it can do some kind of scientific algorithm to figure this whole thing out. Click next. Okay, so now it's saying wait for it to pulse blue. And as we can see, it is. So now it's waiting for the primary M5 to talk to the secondary M5. Still pulsing blue. At some point, they're going to find each other and that's going to turn green. Where have you placed this deco? Well, looks like the living room to me, so let's do that. And all that does is really just give the thing a label so that we can recognize it in this app later. Complete. You can now connect your devices to this network, Wi-Fi Guy 5, which we've already done. So now we just say, well, I'm done for now. So when we click on Internet, we should see both decos, the one on the bedroom and the one in the living room, and both are online. I did a simple speed test from a laptop by connecting to the Deco M5 wirelessly, disconnecting, and then connecting to the Nighthawk wirelessly. Then I did the same thing with Ethernet. We got 175 down with the Nighthawk Wi-Fi and 191 down with the Nighthawk Ethernet. Then we got 154 down with the Deco Wi-Fi and 218 down with the Deco Ethernet. Well, the first thing people are going to say is, hey, look, the Deco's Wi-Fi is slower than the Nighthawk's Wi-Fi, and that sucks. Well, there's two things to keep in mind. One, the Nighthawk on the Wi-Fi side is a faster router. On the 5 gigahertz, the Nighthawk is a 1300 megabits per second router, while the Deco is only 867 megabits per second router. So it's kind of an unfair comparison. Now, the main point to keep in mind is the point of doing this was not to increase our speed, was to increase our range. With a single wireless router, you're going to start off with speeds like this right on top of the router. But as you get farther away, it's going to get slower and slower and slower. Whereas with mesh, you're going to see speeds closer to this throughout the entire home. Now, one concern that I have is the ping. Now, if you're a gamer, these are not really acceptable pings. The thing to keep in mind with mesh, there are more hops involved to get to your device. So from a gaming perspective, this may be a concern. A possible solution would be to set up your mesh nodes in access point mode, keep your wireless router in the equation, and use it for gaming. So overall, the performance of this mesh Wi-Fi system is actually very good. The price is excellent. I have no problem at all saying that this mesh Wi-Fi system provides an awesome bang for the buck. Thanks for watching my video. 
on the TP-Link Deco M5. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please do the YouTube doinkty doink. -de -doink.